Hey guys! So I already filmed this video once and I absolutely hated it. The other video that I filmed was really choppy and it just looked really bad. I feel like it was just really choppy. Today I'm going to be telling a story time of the time that someone used my pictures to catfish. <laughs> This happened to me when I was a senior in high school, so that was two years ago, and it was a regular school night, I was just chilling in my room, I was on my phone, and I got a follow request. Someone named Sydney Sorban, and I clicked on to see who was trying to follow me, and the profile picture was my face. And this person was private, so I wanted to see what else they were posting. I requested to follow it, they quickly denied my request and then blocked me. So I was freaking out. So I posted on my Instagram and I was like, please everyone try to follow them and let me know what they're posting, please. So my friends hopped on that real fast and Sydney accepted their request. They were all texting me, telling me they're posting so many pictures of you. These pictures went back a year back. This happened in 2017. The pictures started being posted in 2016. So this person was really consistent, which is really creepy. I don't understand who puts that much effort. I mean, I'm not really a catfish, so I don't understand what goes on in their heads, but it's, it's okay. So my friends started investigating. They discovered that Sydney had a Twitter, a Snapchat, and a Bitmoji to look like me for their Snapchat. This person was hardcore. They were, I don't know what they were trying to do, but they had, it looked real. Like I would have believed it. Sydney was following all girls. I saw the girls that were commenting on Sydney's pictures and I DM them and told them that she's not who she says she is. I don't even know if it's a she, so just watch out. And some of the girls were saying thank you. They said that they like talked a little bit here and there and other girls got really defensive about it. They were getting mad about it. They were like, yeah, okay, whatever kind of attitude towards me. So I still to this day do not know who was running all these accounts. Um, Sydney ended up deleting the Instagram and Snapchat but what is still running today, it's not active or anything because I just checked the other day so I wanted to see if anything else happened or it was deleted. The Twitter's still there, just not active. Um, but yeah, I never found out who ran that account. They could have been someone that I knew, it could have been someone I didn't know, I, I still don't know who was behind all of that and how they got these pictures or anything. So it's kind of a mystery, I, it's the first experience that that's happened to me, um, really creepy. But yeah, this is just like a really quick story, um, this is my first story time so I don't know how good it was or if it was all over the place, I'm sorry, it's my first one, so. Yeah, um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.